Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I did review and swatches on the brand new ColourPop Times Alexis Ren collection. So I wanted to just first give you guys like a review on how I feel about them. I will have timestamps down below of when I do each thing. So first I'm going to start out with reviews and then I'm going to go into swatches and then I'm going to do swatches on my actual face. I have the shade Little Weapon which is the ultra matte lip on my lips right now and I do also have the highlighting and bronzing palette on my lips also. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the bronzing and highlighting contour palette. So this is the Topaz palette. It is the very first pressed bronzer and highlighter that ColourPop has come out with and I have to say I'm impressed. I'm very very impressed. So the packaging looks like this. It has a very black kind of that like NARS velvety touch to it. It does say Alexis Ren and ColourPop in the copper rose gold. So when you open it up it has a bronzer that's called Golden Moment and this does have 10 grams of product in here. When I compared it to other bronzers that I have in my collection, the shade Laguna from NARS does have 8 grams in it and the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula does have 11 grams in it. So I would say that this is a pretty standard size for a bronzer. Next moving over to the highlight, this is called She's Here to Stay and it's this really true golden highlight. This does have 7 grams of highlighter in it when compared to other highlighters in my collection. Becca Opal has 8 grams and MAC Soft and Gentle has 10 grams in it. So I would say that this is a little bit less product than a typical highlighter. Again, those are just ones that I have in my collection so it might vary depending on the highlighters that you have in your collection. I do have to say this is a very golden shade. As you can tell on my face, it is pretty dark for the complexion that I am right now. However, I do quite like it and I think that it looks really, really natural. I'm used to that typical stark, like metallic highlight. This is definitely more of a natural, everyday highlight for people that are darker than me. So I would say if you're fairer than me, this is probably going to be too golden on you. And as far as the bronzer, this is going to be too orange on you. As you could tell, I did blend it out a lot, like harshly. I really, really had to blend it into my skin to get it to look more of that gray and cool undertone rather than the orange which it first applies. As far as the colors, like I said, I think they are suited for people who do have her skin tone which is a little bit darker than me. However, which I can't blame her for, it is her collection so obviously she should create something that matches her skin. But I have to say this is really good formula and I can't wait to see more shades that they're going to come out with for lighter skin or darker skin people. Next two products I have to talk about are products that ColourPop already has come out with before tons of times. So the first one is the Ultra Satin Lip and this is in the shade Bare Necessities. It's this really beautiful light orangey pink shade. It's definitely the most nude color that she has in the collection. It is very, very similar to the typical Ultra Satin Lip formula so there is really no difference there if you guys like the Ultra Satin Lip. Depending on if you like the color or not, this is definitely going to be something to purchase. This next color is the Ultra Matte Lip. It's what I have on my lips right now. It is the shade Little Weapon. And as you can tell, it's a very bright, corally red color. It claims to be the Ultra Matte formula. However, I do feel that it is a lot creamier than the Ultra Matte. I do have a few of the Ultra Matte and I do not like them at all. They are way too drying for me. I have super dry lips, so I don't like the regular formula, but I do feel like this one's different. This has been on my lips for about 10 to 15 minutes now. It has not even cracked, and typically when I have the matte lips on for five seconds, it will crap. It will crap. It will crack, especially if I don't have the lip primer underneath, which I do not right now, so. This is definitely one of my favorites from the collection. So there are three more products in the collection and these are called the Blotted Lips. I have all three shades right here. So the Blotted Lips on the website, it says that it's a sheer matte tint and you can build it up to the desired intensity. I completely agree with that. Um, it is very sheer, it is matte, however you can build it up if you want to. So I'm first going to start out with the shade Exotic. This one was my favorite when I tried them on my lips, which you guys like I said before, if you want to see the swatches on my lips down below, you can just check the description box and I have them linked there. This is just a really nice corally red shade. It is very sheer and it is very, very subtle. It's it looks like this color, but it's very different, and I do feel like this is more of an everyday red when I feel like this one's more of like a special occasion red, at least for someone like me who isn't quite 
comfortable with going out in really bright colors. The next shade I have here is Deja Vu. This is the neutral shade out of the Blotted Lips collection. It looks like this in the packaging. Um, they all pretty much have the exact same packaging. All the blotted lips, just the different colors on the bottom. It is a really nice mauve pink shade. Um, like I said before, it is the most nude out of all the blotted lips. I really like this one too. This is more of an everyday lipstick. I feel like I could definitely pull this off if I'm going to work or going to school because it is very sheer. Not like a standout color for me because I do have so many shades that are similar to it. The thing that's more standout to me is the formula. And the last blotted lip, this is the shade Lexi. This was my least favorite out of the entire collection. It's still good. I do still like it, but compared to everything else, I don't think it's my favorite. It's this deep red shade. It looks a lot like exotic when you apply it onto the lips, except it does have more of that deeper undertone. This is more of an, like I said before, it is more of a wearable red than this is. You could definitely wear this on a date or if you're going out with your girls, anything like that. I don't know, there's not really much I could say about it. The shades and the blotted lips aren't my favorite. I enjoy the formula a lot more, so I'm excited to see if ColourPop comes out with more blotted lips in different shades. Okay, so now that I've done the review, I'm gonna give you guys some swatches on my lips, so let's get into it. So we're going to start out with the Topaz Highlighting Palette. This is what it looks like. Super pretty. I don't know how that gold's going to look on my pale skin. It might be a little bit too dark for me. But yeah, it looks pretty promising. So I'm just going to start out with this bronzer brush from Eco Tools that I usually use for all my bronzers. And I'm going to dip into this shade right here. And as you can see, it's pretty chalky. When you wipe it up, it has a lot of fallout. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but let's try it out. It actually looks pretty nice. I mean, it definitely has that like orange undertone in it. So if you're fairer than me, then I don't know if this is going to work for you. It's not bad. It's a little bit too orange for my liking, but as far as like the pigmentation and stuff, it's really nice. The only thing is I feel like I have to work really hard to blend it in. I actually think it looks pretty good. It definitely gives my face that like dimension that you're obviously looking for in a bronzer. The only thing is I would have to say if you are fairer than me, you probably wouldn't like this because it does show up pretty orange. I mean, I think you could tell in the pan it's pretty orange. I like it. I think it's, I mean, it's not, it's definitely not my favorite bronzer or contour palette that I've ever had. So let's do the highlight now. Same as always, I'm going to use my Eco Tools fan brush. Okay, it actually doesn't look as pigmented as I thought, which is good because it's not going to come off as stark. So let's try it. Yeah. It is a little bit too dark for me right now. But I actually think it's really pretty. Really, I mean, this is ColourPop's first pressed bronzer and highlights. So I think for as far as being their first product, it's a really nice product. I could totally see myself reaching for this. Um, especially when I'm a little bit more tan and my face is a little bit darker. So far, so good. So I'm going to start off with the Ultra Satin Lip. This is the shade Bare Necessities. Okay, so clearly I'm horrible at applying liquid lipsticks, but I really like it. I mean, it has that like pinky undertone. I think it looks really nice if you pair it with like a neutral smoky eye or just if you pop a little bit of brown in your crease and put this on your lips, this would be really pretty. It feels really creamy, buttery, not drying at all, which is what I like about the Ultra Satin Lips. Next color that I'm going to take is this Blotted Lip Formula. So this is the shade Deja Vu. It's this really pretty pink shade. Okay, so again, this is the shade Deja Vu. I really like this one. It's like a purpley undertone nude pink. I guess. <laughs> this formula is really creamy. It's not drying at all. It went on my lips super easily. So... I like this one. 
it's really really nice next color is the shade exotic and it's this really fiery red shade I'm kind of nervous but I'm kind of excited to try it out again it's the blotted lips formula which is like the deja vu color so let's apply it to the lips Okay, so I'm in love with this color. It's like a really sheer red. I think this would be perfect for those people who are a little bit scared to go overboard with their red lipstick, like me, because I have such pale skin. I never really wear red lipstick because I'm afraid it's gonna look too red on me. This is just like a really sheer cover of red on your lips, and I think that this is definitely gonna be one of my favorite reds ever. The next color is the shade Lexi, and it looks very similar to Exotic, except it is a little bit more of that deep red shade. So I'm excited to see how this one's gonna look because that one was such like a sheer tint. And I have a feeling this is going to be very similar to it since it is a red, and it is the blotted lip, so it's supposed to be the same formula. So let's try it out. This one I found a little bit more difficult to apply to the lips. I don't know if it's because my lips are getting tired of me having to scrub them to add another color on top, or if it's the actual formula of this specific shade. Um, I will let you guys know as time goes on. I'll let you guys know what I feel about it. Um, overall, I think that the color is really nice. It does remind me a lot of Exotic, which I'm kind of confused about why they would put two of like extremely similar shades. This one definitely has a little bit of a deeper undertone to it, but I don't know how I feel about this one. Not my favorite. The last and final shade is the shade Little Weapon, and this is an ultra matte lip, so I'm kind of nervous about it. I did choose this one for last because I was afraid of how staining and how difficult it would be to get off. It's the this, like super corally fiery red shade so I don't really know what to say about it let's just see how it applies <laughs> I actually really like it. I didn't think that I was going to like it because one, it's the ultra matte lip, which I don't like, and two, because of the color, I don't really like reds on me, like I said before. The blotted lips were good because they were very subtle, and this is definitely out there. However, I like really, really like it. It's definitely like special occasion makeup, so like I would only wear this on specific things. It's definitely not an everyday color. But when I applied Bare Necessities, which is this ultra satin lip right here, I felt like when I overlined my lips, it looked like I overlined my lips, you know what I mean? But this one like dried down really, really nice. It does not look like I overdrew them. I really like this one. I'm so surprised. Okay, guys, and that's all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you picked up any of this collection or if you're thinking about picking it up. I really enjoy doing review videos, so if you guys like them, please let me know down below. I really love to go out and buy new makeup and review it for you guys, so I hope that you guys are looking forward to a ton more reviews, which I do have coming your way. I just purchased a shit ton of makeup, and I'm really excited to do some more reviews on it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. There will be a picture of me that pops up like usual. Just scroll over it, click subscribe. There will also be a little box with my my latest video you can click on that too and yeah that's all I have to say I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video bye